Hey guys, Long Getsu134 here, bringing you a My Hero Academia Season 3, Episode f 5? 4? No, it's 4. It's 4. It's 4. Episode 4, Review. So, this episode is the the fabled uh, and ex waited for uh, fight between Izu uh, Izuku and Muscular. Um, technically, he doesn't really have a name, and I think he's never really given the name in the or in the in the manga, I think he's basically just named after his quirk, uh, muscular, um, at least to my knowledge. Um, and you know, this is the fight that everyone's been wa uh, waiting for, um, myself as well. And it's it's really good. The animation, like right off the bat, let's let's just let's just get to the the main points. Um, for one, the animation is great. I love this episode. I, I definitely can see this is one of the episodes where the budget is really, really shining through. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff in this fight. For one, uh, Izuku, Izuku using One For All looks great. Um, it, 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 like, it shines just the right way. The colors look great. Um, whenever he, uh, whenever he's using it, it just pops it looks really good especially with the background of the of the night and the rocks uh where coda's secret hideout is um muscular himself looks really good i i really like how much uh detail they went into putting in his muscles how like they undulate and sometimes peel off like tendrils um yeah no that looked really good um and the other moments look pretty good too, like uh, the scenes where we see the the forest, uh, the part with Moonfish and uh, Shoji's arm uh, was really well done. Um, I mean, we get introduced to, for the most part, Spinner and the and the dude with the with the magnet powers. I actually forget his name. <laughs> um, the one that knocks Pixie Bob out right at the start and tells them that Mandalay got kidnapped. Um, that was really well done. I like that. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, Muscular himself was really well done. I like the voice actor uh, for the Japanese. Um, uh, in that he 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 has a really great voice. I like the way that he'll be really calm, but when he gets into like killing someone or getting into a good fight, he'll he'll start screaming at random intervals. Um, Particularly once Midoriya hits him with one for all, one hundred percent, with a, I, you know, I can't remember if it was a, if it was a state smash or if it was just a, if it was just him doing smash. No, it was just him doing smash. Um, and uh, you know, it's really it's really well done. Um, and of course, the probably the best animated part is the one million percent Detroit Delaware smash. Um. Which, yeah, I, I, I have to admit, is probably one of my favorite moments for Midoriya in uh, this early part of uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, Volume 12 actually just came out, I think, stateside this month. And so I'm a little bit ahead now. Um, I actually think it's... I, I think we're going to go from uh, Volume 8 to 12. I actually think that's going to be four volumes for uh, for this one. I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> well, technically... Ooh. Three and a half since season two ended around uh, halfway of volume eight because vo the second half of volume eight is the start of the training camp arc, the very beginning. Um, because the first half of uh, volume eight is wrapping up the uh, the finals, the final exam for that semester for them. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, I really liked, uh, the Detroit Delaware Smash. It's probably one of my favorite mo uh, moves for him. Um, all right. And, and to be fair, I, I, I think it's, it's definitely one of Midoriya's best moments because this is, this is much like his fight with Stain and that he got himself into this mess, but this time he has no way to get himself out because his phone was destroyed and he told no one where he was going. He merely told Mandalay he was going to go... He knew where Coda's hideout was, and he was going to make sure he didn't get hurt. Uh, you know, and not only that, but, like, everyone... There's been attacks on the camp. 
you know, Aizawa and his, and, his, and the uh, the Cram students and Blood Vlad are attacked by Dobby. Mandalay and Tiger are uh, Tiger's the big male uh, wild wild pussy cat. In case you don't know who I'm talking about, um, are dealing with Spinner the Lizard Man and uh, the Magnet Dude, whose name I don't remember. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, everyone that's in the woods are dealing with the gas attack. Um, Bakugo and Shoto, um, Shoto are dealing with uh, Moonfish. And I, th um, I think that's only what we've been shown so far. I know there's some other fights in the manga, but I won't spoil those for those of you who are watching and haven't seen the anime. Um, like, I'll spoil some stuff. Like, I'll spoil stuff that I, I, I know what's going to happen, but... Otherwise, yeah, like, oh, that's in the episode, but, um, and the preview for the next episode, which has, uh, oh, I can't think of the big hand girl's name. I can never think of her name. The, 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 basically the class president of 1A and, uh, Tattoo Tattoo, uh, end up actually getting into a fight with the person who's causing the poison attack. Also, I don't think he's ever given a name. Um, at least not in the manga chapter itself, but, uh. I think I think later Horikoshi gave him a name. Um and speaking of Horikoshi, all right, let's let's do so let's talk about something that's bothering me about most reviewers and react and people that reacted to the episode. As someone who likes to watch reactions at of to his favorite anime after the uh the episode is I've watched it. All right, so a lot of people take one for all, one million percent, way too literal. Okay? All right, so when he does that, it's after he had almost been crushed to death by muscular and uh, nearly died, which was really done really well. I love that scene, especially because Midori's trying to push him back, and he's slowly getting crushed. You know, and he, he says stuff like, I'm sorry, All Might, I'm sorry, Mom, I, I let you down. But more than that, you notice as he's going down, the energy of One for All is starting to fade from his body until eventually it just completely sputter, putter, uh, sputters out. And then it's not until Coda distracts uh, Muscular long enough for him to realize he can't give up yet because Coda's still there. And he can't die as long as Coda's there and he's not going to let Muscular kill him. And so that, and like, and so you see his eyes, and they glow with one for all, and then it just sparks and erupts back to life, and then you see the the line of succession for one, uh, one for all, the end of the rainbow colors that spark to each other, and he just pulls it off. But but anyway, I don't really understand why a lot of people think like legitimately he's doing one million percent, <laughs> like. That that's physically impossible. Like the whole and not only that, Horikoshi's even stated that's not an actual percentage. Midoriya just said that to psych himself up so he could give everything he had and more against muscular. It's like when you're when you're doing like reps with weights and you know you scream and you you force yourself to do that one last good rep to, you know, build your muscles up. It's more like he's putting everything he has into those two strikes so that all of the accumulated force puts muscular down permanently. Well, not okay, not lethally permanently, but, like, for good. You know, permanently, because he, he kept getting back up. He even was hit with a 100% one-for-all, and it did, um, it did nothing. Um... So yeah, it, it's also more most le much like All Might's fight with Nomu, and how that last punch is his go be when he, he he does the plus ultra punch. It's supposed to be that he's going past the limits of what One for All can do, and he's actually overclocking more or less. You know, he's putting he's putting more like a hundred and ten percent instead of a hundred. Like Horikoshi himself even said that it was more like he's going like beyond just. He's actually going beyond the limits of one for all, just a slight bit, like 113, 120 percent. I think he's. I think he said originally it was 113 percent, but you know, it's still really cool and a great moment for Midori because he's more or less doing the plus ultra thing as well. Um, 
I think other people also wonder why, like, like why the one hundred percent for one for all like didn't hurt muscular as much as it should have, especially considering what that can do to other people. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. For one, muscular probably has some with all that sinew on his body. I think has in some ways a shock absorption to with his quirk like Nomu. Not that he, it's actual shock absorption, but that the fibers the fibers of muscle that he can expound can act as a shock buffer. Um, because our our own muscles are shock buffers. Like when we do things, like when we punch something, you know, it, our whole you know, like when we punch something with our arm, we actually do feel it. But you know, depending on how good your muscles are, you, you won't feel as much recoil. You know, like. Our body is built naturally to stand some basic shocks when our bodies move and such. Um, and the other is that, like, while I while Midoriya can do one hundred percent, you know, and <clears throat> hit stuff, it's not like all one hundred percent is going straight through his fist. Now, you'll notice when he did do that, the explosion radius was huge <clears throat> and sent stuff everywhere. Um. You know, and send shockwaves everywhere and knock, almost knock Code off the cliffside if it weren't for Midoriya catching him by his teeth. <coughs> um, I also like to believe that, you know, for, for one, why, like, his whole arm gets exploded is because when he uses one for all 100%, his whole arm radiates the energy out. Because if he, if he truly put all of the 100% force this way instead of out through his arm it probably would completely like, blow his arm off. You know, if it weren't for the fact that his body is trained enough that his muscles can direct the blast out from his arm, he would most likely lose the arm like the first time he used it against the train, uh, the Zero Robot way back in Season 1. Um, like, that's that's how I, I think it works, for, in, in my opinion, is that it's less he's... Hmm... <sighs> truly utilizing the 100% completely to like how it's how he should it's that the his body need in order to make up for how weak his bo his body is compared to the superpower of one for all it had to send the energy out or else it would completely shatter his arm like to the point of non -re un -re unusable um but then again he probably heard he did do that when he did the 1 million percent Detroit Lord smash well You'll see. Um, so yeah, I, I I think people take some of like that too literally. I mean, granted, like, um, I do believe that his output was All Might's one hundred percent, but and because it has to be because it's a it's a collection of power. So it's all the power that All Might and the previous successors have accumulated that is in Midoriya's body. But I don't think he can use it properly, if that makes any sense. Uh, to me, um, so yeah, um, you know, I love, I love, I love this fight. I think it's probably one of the best fights ever. And I think if you're not a fan of My Hero Academia, and this is like what people get you into it, it's gonna make you a fan. Uh, much like the fight with with uh, All Might and Nomu, and the fight with Stain and Izuku, Ida and Shoto, uh, uh Todoroki in uh in season two, or the. Uh, Midoriya's fight with Todoroki in season two. I know a lot of people's favorite one of people's favorite fights is Midoriya versus Todoroki. Um But yeah, no, I, I definitely think it's a a very good episode. I think it's definitely one of the one of the, the tent poles of season uh season two or a uh, three. And I I you know, I think it's you know I think it's also uh, showing how good the season is that this is just episode four of season three and we've already had one of the best fights i am very much looking forward to the rest of the season and what it's going to bring and i think i think everyone's in for a good time um honestly uh so yeah guys i think that's gonna be it for this episode um i know it's a little late because uh, the episode premiered like this saturday i normally try to update um it a little bit earlier in the week than I, do, I am right now, but I had reasons, um, 
for those of you who are wondering, you know, I, you know, recently reviewed, um, uh, Avengers Infinity War with a couple of my friends. Um, I'm going to actually leave a link in that, in the uh, description as well, for those of you who uh, want to see it. I do spoiler, spoil the movie, so if you haven't seen the movie yet and want to, there are spoilers. Um, but otherwise, I think you guys will like. I think it's it's a it's a good time. It's one of the few times I actually have people with me uh, in the review. So um, yeah, uh, other overall though, I I think um, this is a good episode. Um, and I I normally I will probably try to uh, I'll try to get back on schedule with Common Rider and My Hero Academia uh, next week. Um, I'm also gonna have to look up. Because uh, I believe th this month, uh, Ducktail, the Ducktales reboot is restarting, so I'll have to try and find a, a day when I want to review that. I actually might have to start uh, doing uh, uh, times when I can, like days of the week where I can up, where I should, when I should be up to uploading these. Uh, the problem is, you know, I ha with with my way my work schedule is, I kind of have to um, pick and choose the time I can do it. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, if um, if Ducktales has returned, I will <clears throat> be doing uh, episode recaps of Ducktales as well as My Hero Academia and Common Art. Although that one, of the three of them, will be the easiest for me to watch because I can watch them on my DVR. Um, but anyway, guys, I think that's enough um, rambling for me. All in all, I think it's a good episode. It's one of the best fights in the series. So if you're not um, a fan of My Hero Academia already, this will make you a fan. But anyway, guys, I think that's it for now. I'm Zongetsu134, and I will catch you guys later. Uh, take care.